I wanted to have sex with my girlfriend in the hospital, and there was no, there were no conjugal arrangements to be made. So we would hang signs on the door and, and have sex in the bathroom, and, and so you're getting not, not your typical cancer memoir, I would so say. So your sex life didn't change much. Honestly, have I mean, you know, how frankly can we talk here on HuffPost Live? We I talk mean, I, pretty I, frankly. You know, I actually, uh, uh, <laughs> um, I told a friend I jerked off this close to death. Because what I found was that actually the sicker I got, the hornier I got. Because I, my theory being that I thought uh, uh, the body sensed its own destruction and it wanted to reproduce as quickly as possible. That, I don't that, know. That's or about else, as honest as you can get. That's about as honest as you can get. So how did you, you transition get. What else do I have then? To offer the world? But, uh, <laughs> how did you transition my then from this? Audrey masturbation stories. <laughs> <laughs> this feeling of fear and, and maybe anger after getting diagnosed to, yeah. to <clears throat> you know what, this is real. Let's laugh about it. How, you know, how do you make that transition? It's not that I was laughing about it when it was going on. I mean, there was, there was, what I realized pretty quickly is that th there wasn't much about cancer and cancer treatment that was funny, but humor, humorous things still exist right next to it. And uh, when I came out and was very angry, you know, people couldn't understand. It's a large part of why I wrote the first book. People seemed to respond as if, what happened to this guy to make him the way he is? And, and I thought maybe telling the story would build a bridge to help them understand because Yes, I was grateful to be alive, but I had still lost five years. I mean, I fell behind in all kinds of ways, professionally and emotionally. And um, I know I'm much, 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 much luckier than many people. And I knew that, yet I still couldn't just abandon the feeling of anger that that stuff had been stolen.